Hello everyone. Today we are going to uh, work out on a SAX paper, Key Stage 1 2018 reasoning paper, which is the second paper we are going to discuss. I hope you have seen our paper 1 arithmetic paper. Uh, seven year old Jaden uh, did that arithmetic paper to showing the, all the subtraction, number line, and column addition and fraction methods. And this reasoning paper. Um, going to be contain 33 or 32 questions. The time restriction to do this paper is 30 minutes. You have five minutes spare to check the answers. Make sure you fill up all the blanks. So total time taken for complete this exam is 35 minutes. Uh, let's walk through this paper and make sure we uh, read the question carefully and understand the question and work out this question. Uh, one more last thing. Um, in this reasoning paper, there's a two categories. The first five question, your class teacher is going to be stand in front of you and read the paper and you need to listen to the questions carefully and fill up your answer sheet. After the fifth question, from the sixth question onwards, the question is written in the paper so that you can do from 6 to 33. So practice question at the start is just to feel free and um, you can ignore the question and go to the first question. If you want to, you can do the practice question and wait for the teacher's uh, reading for the first five question. Um, let me introduce a seven year old next to me who is going to be helping me to do this question paper. Hello everyone, I am Jason. Today we are going to do the SATS 2018 Maths Paper 2, which is called Reasoning Paper. Thank you, Jaden. Let's look at the first question. I'm going to move it here. This is a practice question, so we don't know what to do. I'm going to read the Presume that means I'm going to be the teacher. Um, I'm going to be standing in front of you and I'm going to read this question. The practice question is, look at the four keys and tick the key that is the longest one. Jaden, which key looks like the longest one? The second one. The second one is the correct answer. So I'm going to change the color to a uh, blue and I'm going to pick a pen and I'm going to circle the the second key. key that is the answer let's start the question so from the question number one onwards i'm going to ask you to do the question and explain make sure um, your colleagues and the people who watch this video understand the technique how you are doing and sharing the knowledge always is the best thing in the world so question number one there's no questions there. I'm going to read the question for you. So when you understand the question, you have to tell the answer. Um, before you tell the answer, Jaden, can you explain a little bit? Because uh, I want you to a little bit explain, then you do the question. First question, what is 20 at 2 at 2? So how you are going to do this one? Well, you add the 2. Two, so 2 add 2 is 4 and then you add it all for 20 which is 24. Very good. So 2 add 2 is 4. Then you add the 20 with 4, 24. Well done. So the answer is 24. Question number 2. I am thinking of a number. It has 4 tens and 2 ones. It has 4 tens and two ones. Explain the question now, how you are doing and what is the answer? So you start with two ones, which is two, then you put it as, as the second number, as, and four is the first number, so it's 42. Very good. So four tens means four times 10 is 40, and two ones is two times so one is two. two. So the answer is? Um, 42. Very good. Question number three. Question number three, let me read the question for you. Look at the circle. Part of the circle is shaded. Tick the fraction below that shows the shaded part of the circle. So they are asking what fraction is shaded in the circle. I need an explanation and the answer. So 
so the, it has three equal parts. One you mean, is you mean one is shaded in, so so we can find other one. Every every single fraction has one, except for the last one. So it can't be the, the last one. So cross that out. Then we have the, uh, so one is shaded in, but and there's three equal parts. So it's one three, uh, over three. So the answer is one third. Very good. So basically, the circle is divided into th three equal parts. Out of three, one has been shaded. So one upon three. That is the answer for the question number three. Question number four. So let me read the question number four for you. Turn the page over and look at the question four. There are 13 marbles in a jar. The jar can hold 20 marbles. How many more marbles can fit in the jar? It's quite simple if you know your number points of 20. So, so 13. What add what is 7 is, is 20. So the answer is 7 because when you add the 7 and 3 by its own, which is 10. Which you add the mother 10 from the 13, which is 10 and 10, which is 20. Very good. The answer is 7 is the answer. Let me read the question for you. There are 13 marbles in a jar. The jar can hold 20 marbles. So 20, basically take away the 13, 7 more marbles can fit in. So 20 take away 13 is 7. As you said, 13 and 7 are the number bonds of 20. 10. And 10, we had 7. 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 10 is 20. Very good, that answer is 7. Question number 5. Let me read the question for you. Write the same number in both boxes to make the multiplication correct. So you need to write the same number here. Something times something is 25. If you know all your timetables like me, you must know this question. So 25 is the answer. But what two numbers has, the two numbers has to be in the same box. No, the same numbers has to be in, two, in the, one of the two boxes. So what is, uh, what is something times something which is 25? 5 times 5 is 25. Well done, Jaden. So 5 times 5 is 25. That is the correct answer. Right. Here we finish the first five question. Very good. And we are starting the sixth question. From the sixth question onwards, there is no instruction given. So you have to read the question by yourself and do it by yourself. Here start. Let me read the question for you and you tell the answer. Put the four towers in order from the tallest to shortest. One is done for you. So who is the tallest one? The tallest out of one is C. The second one is D, but it's already done for you. And then the next one is A and then it's B. Quite easy. It's like it's a. It's quite easy, but you don't have to use a ruler. So, for example, because it's not asking you how much centimeters, meters. Just to observe. So, look at the tower and which one is the tall, you put it in the tall, and which one is the shortest, you put it in the shortest. Make it in as an order. Is right? Yeah. Next question. Shall we go to the next question? Yeah. Right. So, question number seven. Tick the names of the two shapes in this picture. So the two shapes, if you know your shapes, every, I think everyone knows this, but it's quite simple. You just have to see the two shapes. One is the rectangle and the other one is the circle. Very good. So rectangle and circle is the shapes in this picture. Question number eight. Shade three-fourth of this shape. So three-fourth of this shape. This is like the for one of the other questions. So, so how to do this is like you remember the four equal parts. It was there. So you have to shade in three because the four is already done. Because we already know we saw four equal parts. So four equal parts, and you only need to shade the three parts because three upon four. Very good. Question number nine. Put a tick below the fourth black bead. Fourth black bead. So 
some people might get this wrong so is this is the first one second one third one and then the fourth one is, is the one where you just have to skip two once some people get get confused and get the third one sometimes i do it when it was my first time doing this paper but now i learnt my mistake and the three was not the one it's just not you just don't count it, you don't have to count in ones you just have to uh, forget about the whites very good right that means they particularly ask for the black bead so you don't need to count the white also you only need to count the black, black. so one two three and the fourth one we already put a tick very good now we are going to go for the question number 10. Sita puts 10 balls in each bag how many balls are in the bags all together so similar like the other question to help you you can do multiplication so a draw array under the question so it's quite simple so there's 10 balls so now we just have to count how many bags are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten times ten how are we going to do that so which is a hundred very good ten timetable ten times ten hundred balls well done we have done 10 questions very good right. already so let's go to the 11th question Kemi goes to four clubs each week which club lasts the longest circle it it's quite easy if we know because about it can't be the one with the minutes it's trying to trick you a little so drama or art art is two hours drama is one hour and art is the answer because two is bigger than one right so here we need to know one hour is what how many minutes one, one hour is 60 minutes one hour and 60 minutes that if, is the trick you need to know so i don't know this uh, the other one to be fair so so two hours i don't know how that equals but the only clue i know is the answer is 60 and 60. very good two hours means so two hours mean 260s so 260 is how many minutes to, to have a guess i think it's one uh, 120 very good so art class is 120 minutes and drama class is 60 minutes because that is one hour so now you can compare all the minutes 45 minutes 120 minutes 75 minutes and 60 minutes which is the biggest one the biggest one is art so very good the answer is art well done question number 12 Ajay's plant was 11 cm tall. It grows 7 cm taller. How tall is the plant now? So, some other people, like if they're over 3 years old, I think some 3 years old, whatever, but 11 add 7. Quite easy. So, 11 add 7 is quite simple, it's 18 very good 11 centimeter the plant you need to add 11 plus 7 is 18 centimeter question number 13 amy makes 25 using different shapes for tens and ones so 25 they drawn two triangles and five squares amy makes a new number three triangles with four uh, squares what is amy's new number so the way to do it is, you, you know the 25, that's the number you have to think in your heads. So, the 25, it has two tens. Where's the two? It, it's there. So the, the triangles are tens. Very and good. the five are ones because they're blocks. And number two is the only one there. So the answer for this question is 34. Three tens is 30. Four ones is four. Very good. Question number 14. The chart shows the number of stickers four children have. 
So, Kimmy, Amy, Ben. Oh, I think the Ben is your friend, Ben. <laughs> and Sam. Kimmy has more stickers than Sam. Kimmy has more stickers than Sam. How many more? I think some uh, people over six year old might know this if they learn from like the dad. The diagrams that. and things like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, if they know. But, uh, that means it's quite a little uh, tricking you. More actually means the more the more that Kemi has is the equal to Sam if you take away whatever has Kemi has. So Kemi has the most out of Sam. Sam has only two. What is six minus four? Well six minus four is two. So the answer is Oh yes, yeah, six minus two is four. So the answer is four. Very good. Question number fifteen. A classroom has six tables. Each table has five children sitting at it. Complete the number of sentences to show how many children all together. So all together means it's a total, isn't it? Yeah. So there are six tables. Each table has five children. So what are the numbers you need to fill up here? So again, if you know your time, all your timetables, you might get this correct. So six, six tables, five children sitting on it, which is six on five. Do away if you know, know, but if you're smart, you know it, which is 30. Very good. Question number 16. A shopkeeper has 20 fish and five fish bowls. He puts the same number of fish in each bowl. How many fish go in each bowl? So, is the, so this is the first dividing questions. Over like about seven can do this, or six because they have only two, whatever. So 20 divided by five, pretty simple. Do the, the circles and the lines in it if you, if you need help. But the, 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 the answer, um, the, yeah, the answer is four. Four. Right, so 20 divided by five. So five circles, you're going to put 20. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So how many? Uh, in each, in, you can uh, pick whatever one you want, it doesn't matter, uh, because it, only if it has equal parts, which is four. Very good. Question number 17. Tick the shape that does not have a line of symmetry. What is line of symmetry? Line of symmetry means, like, for example, if you have, like, for example, like, that, this jar. Um, How about this heart shape? This jar. You split it into half, two parts which are the same size. Very good. So that means this heart has can be split into two halves. They have a line of symmetry. This, like a sign, is a line of symmetry. And this gingerbread man can have a line of symmetry. And this jar also have a line of symmetry. And this star also have a line of symmetry. So we... So we don't know if the house got it yet, but it says do not, but it's the only one did. But let's see if it actually do doesn't have a line of symmetry. Yes, if I put the line of symmetry line here. Look, look at the chimney. Yes, chimney is not available the right hand side. So if this is a... If it doesn't have the, the chimney and it was the same question, what will it be? It'll be nothing. Nothing, so there's no answers possible actually. Well done, good thinking Jaden. Question number 18. Ajay has 20p in 2p coins. So 20p is the money he has in 2p coins. How many 2p coins does Ajay have? Quite simple. Is is a much different division um, question. So 20 divided by 2. Um, we all know it if we uh, like the other question. It is 10. The answer is 10. Question number 19. 548. 
Use only these numbers to make a different number sentence each time. One is done for you. 5 times 8 is 40. So, we already know that 40 will be the answer in the last box of the second question. This can't be the same, so we have to switch it around. 8 goes in the first box, 5 goes in the other box. Now, you can do whatever you want. If 40 must go at the start, 5 or 8, you can put whatever in each one. So 5 can be in the second one and 8 can be the answer. Very good. Question number 20. Here is a part of the number line. Write down, uh, write the correct number in the box. So it's 70, something, something, something is 90. So, um, seven t so you count something like a, like five, five, ten, simple. So let's try the tens first. Uh, 80, 90. But if 90 goes there, so it, this definitely must be wrong. So then 75, um, 80, then 85 is the answer. 85 is the answer. Well done, Jaden. Question number 21. One plane lands every minute. Sorry, every minute. How many planes land in one hour? So, the planes are... So, one hour equals 60 minutes. 60 minutes. One hour, which is 60 minutes. So, 60 planes is, is the answer. Very good. So, what it is actually, one hour is 60 minutes. Each plane, every single plane, taking one minute to land. Oh, and also, um, it's quite simple if if you know the one what one hour is equal to. One hour oh. equal to sixty minutes. Then sixty minutes, every minute one plane. So sixty minutes, sixty planes. Well done. Well, over five, I guess. What's that? Any, one? I think I think over five can answer that question. Yes, but you need to know in how many minutes, um, it, in one it, hour. Question number 22. Use four different number cards to complete the number sentence below. 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55. What two numbers add them to give 60? This is quite tricky. Like about uh, six or over can do this because some people, if they're four, five years old, do this. Look, look at the tens. 55 and 15 because about uh, this 6 and that 6 but no there has to be the, the other one has to equal so uh, compared if it's e if it equals 20 so 55 and 5 equals si 60 well done 45 and 25 equals 60 45 at 25 can you add that and see whether it's to um, what's the number 60 add them up column addition uh, five so plus five, five is ten put that you put zero one on top then it goes seven. so unfortunately i'm wrong but i did a very bad mistake it's supposed to be 45 add 50 45 at 15 is 60. Because so, I did the mistake that like 5 years old do to be fair. I added the 4 and 2. Very good. Which is 6. So the answer is 55 plus 5 is 60 or 45 plus 15 or 60 or any other combination. Or you can add 25 plus 35 also 60. You can do any way but, be, care but be careful of the of the tens because it might trick you right question number 23 sam has 55p ben has 10p less than sam so sam has 55p ben has 10p less than sam so how much ben has now so 10p less than sam so so minus those two together but will have to be oh so it's fifty-five minus forty-five so so fifty-five minus 
45 we know is 10 so so 45 is is Ben's total we have to find what what, it, what makes 45 so we know the five is going to make the ones so the ones are done so all we just have to make is the 40 so 20 and 20 very good and by the way is 20 10 and 10 20 10 and 10 and 5 yeah. but they're only asking the um you know tick the coins so as long as whatever, you should, whatever whatever one you have but it must equal 45 very good question number 24 biscuits 20p each cakes 25p each sam buys three biscuits and one cake how much sam spend all together four little ones they might get stuck with it I'm sorry for saying that, whatever. So, the question is, Sam buys three biscuits. Three times 20. I might get this wrong. So, three times 20, which I don't know. I don't know it. Seriously, so, 20 add 20 add 20 equals 60. So, you answer 60. Okay. Then, one cake is, is just... 25 on um, that one. no then so you add the six and two and six and two oh yeah so five goes in once and then six and two 85 85 is the total answer question number 25 Amy buys one pair for 35p. She pays with a 50p coin. How much change does Amy get? So, how to do this question is, you, you see the 50 pence on the bottom, yeah? You minus it with the 35, which is the pair. So, whatever, or whatever three is it. So, for 50 minus, 35 you can't minus the zero and the five so knock knock cross the five he becomes two or four then you have the three gives a one wait oh yeah it give, it makes it ten because about the zero must be the ones of it so it's ten ten minus five which is five then four minus three which is one 15 is the answer question number 26 Kemi makes a pattern with sticks. Some are long and some are short. She writes a number pattern on the sticks. Write the number that will be on the next short stick. So over five can do this. Like for, no, four can do this as well. So it's quite simple. Look, zero is long stick if it's ending with zero. And then if it's ending with five, is the short one so it's the same which one it will be the short stick so the so the longer one whether whether it burns 50 but then 55 is the answer so answer is 55 the longer one going on a 10 20 30 40 50 the shorter one goes on a 10 5 15 25 35 45 and 55 the answer is 55 Question number 27. Look at the thermometers. The first one is in the playground, another one in the classroom. The temperature on the playground is lower than the temperature in the classroom. So, classroom, what is the temperature? No. So, so the, the classroom is 20. My kind of, kind of confusion low up means take away so minus for 20 and 5 which is 15 so the answer is 15 correct question number 28 write the same number in the box says to make the sum correct also write the same number so you can't have you can't have this 0 and 26 because 26 and 0 are not the same number well it's quite it's simple for me. So, so 13 
and 13. Because 303 is 6 to 101 is 2. Answer is 13 at 13 is 26. Very good. Next question. Draw a rectangle 7 cm long and 3 cm wide. Use the ruler. So at the moment Unfort we don't have Unfortunately a... we can't do this because it's on the computer. In the computer. So we will try to explain you. Well, 7 cm means from here you count the squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Am I right? Yep. And three down, so one, two, three. All right, and one, two, three. Well, we know this is going to be wrong because it has to be centimeters. Yes, you need It'll to use the proper bigger, ruler, right? Bigger. Right, but we just had to try because about is we is on computer. Yeah, but what we can do is so you can pretend to be like a one square is one centimeter, then seven centimeter you can count seven squares. But in actual ruler, the centimeter you need to measure and draw it. Is well, it? Well, we know this is not correct, but we but we think this is correct. Next question. Question number thirty. Ben has seven bags of grapes. Each bag has 10 grapes. Ben gives 25 grapes to his friends. How many grapes does he have left? So this is quite hard. So he has 7 bags of grapes. So remember that. Each bag has 10 grapes. So times 7 and 10, which is 70. So how many has he has left if he... If, uh, 70 grapes and 25 he gives to his friends. You just do call and subtraction. So if you don't know, this is how you do the knock knock one. So cross the seven and put the six on, then make a ten, then ten minus five, which is five, then six minus two, which is four. The answer is 45. Very good. That is the answer. Question number 31. So, put the 19 under there because we we know that 13 and add 6 is 19. So 19 goes there. So 10 add what equals 19? So it's 9. It's like when you're partitioning the 19 into... Tens and ones. Very good. That is question number 31. Question number 32. That is our last question. Write two numbers that are greater than 20 to make this subtraction correct. They, uh, they meant by greater, they meant more than 20. Very good. So well, more than 20, you need to subtract two numbers to get answer 2. Can you think of it? Um, I guess this is... 23 minus 21. Very good. 23 take away 21 is 2. two. The trick I did is 23 m m minus 2 is 21. Very good. That is our end of the exam. You won't believe we took 33 minutes to just to do this paper not only that we explained that as well. So if you do only the question paper only we may take less than 20 minutes that is more good speed for that but we did explain to you and uh, I hope you like our video how we went through each and every question and if you do like this video you can give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and uh, let's Jaden to tell that one um, then he will be very happy after uh, submitting this video so this is my channel I hope you like it so if you like it you you can subscribe to it and give a thumbs up to the channel uh, thank you for watching the whole tour and thank, and what watching the, how to do the set for reasoning paper to um, how to uh, sats 2018 national curriculum test paper. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.